Typically, most evangelical believers, in the name of tolerance and in avoidance of controversy, will accept any Bible translation as they view it as using the right tool for the job. The issue with this line of thinking is that they have uprooted their own belief in order to sow the seeds of confusion and ultimately disunity. For those who do not believe, and those who do, this becomes a serious issue and a reason for skepticism. In looking to the King James Bible, we have some passages that show the significance of God's word for us and our faith. Psalm 12 verses 6 to 7. The words of the Lord are pure words, as silver tried in a furnace of earth, purified seven times. Thou shalt keep them, O Lord, thou shalt preserve them from this generation forever. Psalm 138 verse 2. I will worship toward thy holy temple, and praise thy name for thy loving kindness and for thy truth. For thou hast magnified thy word above all thy name. John 14 verse 24. He that loveth me not keepeth not my sayings. And the word which ye hear is not mine, but the Father's which sent me. 2 Timothy 3.16 All scripture is given by inspiration of God, and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness. There are so many other passages that we can look to that shows the significance of the word, as this is of vital significance to our faith. The complications of not having the word are dire, so this is not an issue that can be secondary by any means. On this channel, we hold to the King James Bible as the standard, and will be using scripture to support it, providing arguments for its preservation, and comparisons with other translations and translators, to show definitively that the authorized version is the living word of God.